All right, what's up guys? TRS Matt here and I'm here to talk about the brand new Morimoto Micro D2S 5.0 projector. And guys, this is probably the grand finale, the last of the last new introduction for Morimoto when it comes to buy Xenon based retrofitting projectors. And why? Well, honestly, the line is pretty much maxed out. You've got the Morimoto Mini H1 8.0, which is a top of the line performer for a super compact H1 based buy Xenon projector. Of course, you've got the D2S 5.0, which is the bigger three inch lens D2S based projector. And then you've got this, which is the new micro D2S 5.0. And well, it's not a mini D2S, it's not a mini H1, it's kind of somewhere in the middle. And it shares a variety of uh, features from both of these projectors that sort of make it the best of both worlds, and here's why. So for those of you guys who have small headlights, which many of you do, and of course want to do a projector retrofit, the Mini H1 has always been the projector of choice because of its small footprint and compact size. It pretty much fits anywhere and still packs a lot of performance. Well, this still does basically the same. It has almost the exact same footprint as the popular Mini H1, same exact bolt pattern, 2.5 inch lens, and exact same depth from front to back. Really the only difference compared to a Mini H1 dimensionally is the threaded shaft on the back is bigger in diameter. It's identical to that of the D2S. So if you need a projector the size of a Mini H1, but you don't mind boring a bigger hole in the back of your headlight reflector where the original halogen bulb comes through to fit the projector in with the threaded mounting shaft, the Micro D2S is definitely a solid option for you. Now, on the performance side of the spectrum, it's actually closer to a D2S 5.0 thanks to A, the more industry standard D2S bulbs, which are what these are designed around. You've got a lot of different options there, everything from Morimoto XBs to Osram and Philips options as well. The output is very good. Again, you have a nice hotspot, good gradient of beam down to the foreground very wide and the cutoff, oh my God, the cutoff on these things is about as crispy as it gets. ECE slope, of course, which matches the D2S, the H1 8.0 and the MLED. That's pretty much a Morimoto standard these days, really nice and sharp, rises up and to the right. It will only be available in left-hand drive, at least for now. Now, last but not least, this projector is a bi-xenon projector. So for those of you who don't know exactly what that means, it has a mechanical shield inside that drops out of the way to expose more light for your high beam. And the high beam pattern on this is actually taken from the Evo XR, which is my personal favorite high beam pattern. It's kind of like a tabletop. It's a very classic Hella style pattern and it's super powerful, very effective when driving in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere. All right, so now that I've talked your ear off all about the brand new quote unquote micro D2S 5.0 projectors, you're probably wondering what is this hunk of metal over here? This is actually what a projector prototype looks like. As you can see, it's literally a chunk of aluminum that's been CNC machined with the reflector bowl pattern, the geometry of the reflector bowl right into the back of it. So you have your lens, your lens holder, cutoff shield, and straight up CNC machine reflector bolts. You can see it's got a D2S holder in the back and then you can't really see so much inside, but it's got a typical reflector in there. And this thing was actually produced back in 2017. And ultimately the guys at Morimoto said, well, I don't really know exactly how this projector fits into its lineup. It's not a D2S 5.0 with a three inch lens. It's not a mini H1. And so it basically went on the shelf and that's where it sat until ultimately you guys raised your hands and said, no, we do want a mini H1 size projector with a D2S bulb, and here you have it.